Hello and welcome. This is Darius Barasande, host of the U.S. Revolution. And if you're about to watch this amazing session that we did, then you're part of a group of humans on this planet who are ascending and moving into a higher frequency. You're not here by accident, and I'd like to offer you a special gift that will help you to adjust to some of these frequencies, plug in even deeper, and it's an energy activation MP3 that will double the power of your energy field in less than 57 seconds. It's absolutely free, and it's the first link in the description down below, but it's also gonna let you get to hear calls like this one live and get daily help from healers, teachers, and masters all over the world. It's absolutely free, and it's part of what we're doing every day at UAuth Revolution. So if you feel called in your heart, you can click the link down below, and the special session that you wanted to watch and experience will start right now. Let's talk a little bit about the number one thing perhaps you'd like people to remember today. What's the big takeaway that they need to know right now? Okay. That's a great question. I would answer it this way. Most of us live our entire lives utilizing only the most obvious understanding of our capabilities. And the reason for this is we don't know how many more capabilities we actually have, how to identify them, or that we have access to a blueprint that can provide a real-time navigation system to leading us to personal development. This is like finding your owner's manual. What do you do with an owner's manual? It gives you directions. It tells you how to fix something, where to go to do something. I mean, this is really essential. We all have one from birth, and most people don't know that we have this. Yeah. Now let's go into where this comes from and some of the history because, you know, we've called this the God code. We've called this this divine blueprint. What is it exactly? It is a blueprint. It's like an architectural drawing for a house. It's the same principle for a human being. Many people call it an imprint. There are different terms used to describe what this is. This is your uh, roadmap of how you're wired. It gives you all kinds of information about uh, your purpose. It gives you strengths and weaknesses, the challenges you'll face, the inhibitors. Inhibitors are barriers. You might have great ideas to do things, but they're barriers and those prevent you from moving forward. You're trapped, so to speak. So it gives you all the information you need from birth to the end of time. How does it do this? Um, my, you know, my question is always like, how in the world does that imprint follow us around? And then secondly, how did somebody uncode this blueprint? Well, first of all, it's amazing. This is magical. It is a Chaldean esoteric science. It's a mathematics of sound, frequency. Everything is based on frequency. We send men to the moon. We do all kinds of things with, mm -hmm. with uh, math and technology and frequency. So the way this works is your name reveals your personal characteristics and traits. Your birth date reveals the development. And in that process, I can take your name and your birth date and reverse engineer turning them into a mathematical formula to decode your frequencies, to put it in a format or a blueprint, imprint, whatever you want to call it, that tells a story about you. If you had this from the very beginning, it would be so helpful for you to understand. A lot of people want to go in a direction they say that maybe, for example, they want to be an entrepreneur, but they don't have the traits to be an entrepreneur. So they struggle, they make a decision, and then they get trapped. This is... This is really an owner's manual. This helps you guide yourself to where you need to go. How does, you know, how does it work with someone's name? Because our parents can give us a name generally. How does that choice by one individual actually impact this divine blueprint if it's been, I guess, sort of set for eons or does it change as we change or as our names change is it something that's actually not not like set in stone that that, that actually has some permeability and some fluidity to it right so if you believe in reincarnation then you have a contract in this lifetime you choose your parents you oh. choose the development areas that's where it starts so your parents choose the name if you don't like the name down the road, you can change it. This is the way it works. Your name on your uh, birth certificate and your birth date 
the original birth certificate because you might be adopted. That is Program A. Program A is with you from birth to death. When you legally change your name, you are then operating from Program B that becomes the controller of both A and B. The problem with the legal name change and people change and they take funny names all the time is there are frequencies. So Program A and Program B might not like each other and they're fighting with each other. And therefore, you have a, an internal conflict. Now, if a woman, for example, marries three times, what are the names that are important? It's always the very first birth name and the current legal name. Anything in between falls away. I have a client who legally changed her name 11 times, if you can believe that. She's an astrologer. And she thought every time she wanted to change her journey, she would take a different name. So when she came to me, she said, I am so confused. I just don't know what I've done with my life. I want to see what happened when I started to change my name. So we did 11 blueprints, and you could see what she did and the decision she made that impacted her life and her journey by changing her name because of frequencies. And she had all of these energies that didn't really, they weren't compatible. They didn't like each other because they didn't go along with program A. So when a name change when you have one, you really want it compatible with A, but since most people don't know that this is frequency or there's an A-B program, they would not have any idea. They just change the name. I have a lot of people that want a spiritual name or, a, you know, a guru will give them a name or they change a name because they don't like the spelling or maybe somebody abused them. There's lots of reasons mm -hmm. why people change their name, but it has an impact on you. Yeah, this is fascinating. I'd like to talk a little bit about some of the ways – we can, first off, make better decisions. Not everybody is going to have uh, access to Chaldean numerology. I mean, we hope many people do, and they go deeper into learning about it. But for those that don't, what have you discovered about decision-making that tends to hold back spiritual seekers and, and those who are really in a life of alignment? What's the number one mistake, and how can they avoid it? That's a hard one, and I'll tell you why. Hmm. Everything starts from childhood going into transitioning into adulthood. If okay. your parents were kind, if you were abusive, whatever happened to you, you you were they start the process of teaching you certain things along the way. Maybe it's good news, bad news, whatever. And so you go from childhood into adulthood and you make decisions based on the frequency and the experiences you had because you have no other experience to know the difference. So, for example, a lot of times uh, young girls, they're afraid to go out in the world, so what do they do? They get a driver. What I call a driver is someone who is aggressive, who's dominant, who wants to take control. Well, that person's a passenger. He's the driver. And then they start their life together, and then they find out that or she or she, he or she find out later on that this isn't mm. a good match. It's out of fear. Fear is what creates uh, a lot yes. of our issues. Fear. So how do we know if a decision is inspired by fear, and how do we avoid it? Well, your intuition, if you have a strong intuition, a lot of times it's not developed yet, but you know if it's right or wrong in your heart. And if you do it anyway uh, because you think that's the shortest route to get to where you want to go, it's usually the longest route. And, and then, of course, the obstacle comes about. For example, if a woman gets pregnant early on and then she finds out she doesn't want to be with her partner, she still is raising the family. Those are the inhibitors that prevent her from, you know, doing something that she wants to do because she has responsibilities. So every decision you make, check and balance it. If it's not a good decision for you, then you get trapped for a period of time. They're called inhibitors. It could be relationships. It could be finances. It could be health. It could be a thousand different things that prevent you from moving forward in your life. Once you've made the decision, your decisions are what keep you trapped. They either fast-track you forward or they send you backwards. And we don't always know. For example, you might decide to take a, a career move and you're going to mm. uh, live in another country and you get there and you find out, whoa, this job, job description isn't anything close to what I thought it was going to be. But, you know, I sold my house and I did all this stuff. So it's our decisions, but they're not always laid out as to um, how they're actually going to um, result. We've got a great question from Steffi. Stephanie. She's asking a question. How is, well, she says, is this specifically, uh, is this more specific than astrology? And that's a great question because we've been doing a lot of astrological and cosmic updates here weekly and as they come in. What's the difference and is it more specific? To me, it's a huge difference, and I'll tell you why. With astrology, it depends on the practitioner's experience, who they studied with, and there are a lot of moving parts. If you don't have the correct birth date, 
that's going to throw everything off. I'm using a mathematical formula. One and one is always going to be two. So it's formula-based. It's mathematics. It's accurate. Oh, okay. All right. I've got a few questions coming in from folks all over the world, and I want to jump in and take a few of them. All right. One question. One person says, what happens to blockages in our energy when we actually unlock this divine blueprint? That is from Sylvia. That's a good question, too. When you unblock it, then you have to take action. I okay. work with a lot of people that understand what they need to do and they're ready to go, but when it's time to implement the change, they're fearful, can't do it. There's one excuse after another. Mm -hmm. So you can lead a horse to water, but you can't make him drink. Yeah. So then what blocks, what do you find blocks most people? Fear. Okay. Fear uh, would be finances. Everybody's looking for security. Uh, but fear is the biggest thing, and fear can come in a lot of different forms. Hello and welcome. This is Darius Farzani, host of the Wealth Revolution. And if you enjoyed that snippet of one of our interviews, I'd invite you to just scroll down for one second and click the link down below. You're going to get access not only to a free gift that's going to double the power of your energy field in just 57 seconds, you're also going to get to be a part of the U.S. Revolution and listen to interviews just like the ones you heard that are happening live right now daily where I interview some of the top healers, teachers, and masters in the field of energy transformation, energy healing, consciousness, ascension, and more. Plus, you're going to get to be on live calls where you'll get your questions answered, you'll get to submit them via webcast, you'll even get to be one-on-one -on -one live on the phone and get energy healing help daily. It's all part of what we've been doing. So get up to date, click the link, join, and be a part of it. And if you enjoyed this video or you'd like to see more of it, click the like button or subscribe. I always upload new content and I give weekly energy updates. So please let us know how we can serve you. And thanks for watching and being in my life. Much love.